Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we will be discussing about enzymatic reactions in organic medium. Generally, let me start this lecture with the fact that enzymes are not soluble in organic media. Because if we look at an enzyme structure, it is made up of hydrophilic amino acids all over distributed all throughout it, its structure and at the surface at the surface of an enzyme mostly all the amino acids at the surface are mostly hydrophilic very few hydrophobic residues are present but they are very very few so the uh, overall structure of an enzyme is hydrophilic so when we put a hydrophilic substance in an organic medium which is uh, hydrophobic and does not has any amount of water within it so the enzymes are repelled the enzymes are repelled and if the enzymes are very few in number the the surrounding organic medium would repel the enzyme and the residues would tend to move towards the inner side of the enzyme and compress the enzyme if there is room for compression it would compress the enzyme or at least make the enzyme rigid the organic solvent would make the enzyme rigid therefore the proteins and enzymes within organic solvents are rigid structures they are not flexible and because they have hydrophilic residues in aqueous environment they are flexible enzymes are flexible because the hydrophilic uh, amino acids can interact with the surrounding aqueous uh, environment which is also polar and therefore uh, that aqueous environment that polar environment gives room for enzyme for its activity hence water molecules we have also seen in uh, biochemistry that water molecules play a very essential role in enzyme activity uh, the removal of uh, adsorbed water molecules from the surface of the enzymes and letting the substrate into the active site this also gives uh, some uh, lowering of the activation energy concept so so the enzymes are rigid in organic solvents therefore it requires certain amount of water in the organic media also so if we are using an anhydrous organic non polar hydrophobic medium we require some amount of water to enable the enzymes to work but water has limited solubility in organic solvents too it has even if it is immiscible that means that uh, it is not uh, e easily miscible in all proportions but water can if you put water in an organic solvent in a hydrophobic organic solvent so that organic solvent has some amount of allowance for water within it so it has a limited solubility so if we put our enzyme in solvents if they are polar solvents so they will strip the enzyme off the water and they will uh, pull all the water molecules from the enzyme surface towards themselves so it has been observed that hydrophobic polar solvents are more uh, harmful for enzymes for in terms of their activity they lower the act in 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 um, polar hydrophobic solvents uh, we cannot achieve more enzyme activity as compared to non polar hydrophobic solvents because uh, polar hydrophobic solvents strip the enzyme of the water even if we are putting some water in the um, medium in the polar hydrophobic medium the polar hydrophobic solvent attracts all the water molecules towards itself and render the enzyme inactive so a lot of uh, so more amount of water is required for reaction in polar hydrophobic solvents so while in non polar hydrophobic solvents they do not attract water much so they remove only a small portion of water from the enzyme so only a very little more even uh, it has been observed that even a very little amount of water in non polar hydrophobic solvents even a small amount of water is capable of allowing the water uh, allowing our enzyme to perform its activity at optimum levels now talking about optimum levels no before that before that uh, it has also been uh, let us get back to some more facts that it has been also found that 
the water required for catalysis is often so small that uh, such a small amount cannot even cover the complete enzyme that is it cannot form a monolayer over the complete enzyme so the amount of water required for catalysis is so small for non polar solvents or often for non polar solvents and even for uh, polar solvents it is not very much it, because if we add too much amount of water then uh, it would become a biphasic system so uh, to make the system uh, somewhat monophasic somewhat monophasic because uh, adding water would make uh, the environment near the enzyme a little bit biphasic so a little amount of water can be considered to be a monophasic system so uh, <clears throat> so a little amount of water is required for catalysis and another factor is that when experiments were conducted and uh, the significance of variables were analyzed it was found that a plain simply water water concentration or water level was uh, not highly significant rather its ratio rather its ratio the concentration of amount of water in the organic medium upon the maximum amount of water that the organic medium can hold the ratio between these two terms called as uh, water activity so water activity is the ratio between the concentration or amount of water in the organic medium to the total amount of water in the medium at the solubility limit or the maximum possible amount of water that the organic medium can hold that is or plainly you can say that it is the solubility of the organic medium so the ratio uh, the, this ratio is called as um, water activity and this water activity was found to be highly significant parameter uh, for analyzing for studying uh, enzyme activity in organic medium that is it has profound effect this uh, variable was found to have water activity was found to have profound effect significant effect on the activity of enzymes so <clears throat> and this uh, water activity is one at the solubility at the solubility limit that is when concentration of water is equal to the solubility of the uh, water in the organic solvent then at that position water activity is one and it is also represented in the form uh, of um, water activity equals to gamma w this is activity of coefficient this is activity coefficient this is uh, gamma w is activity coefficient and cw is concentration of water or amount of water in the organic medium so aw is also represented in this form of equation where activity coefficient is uh, the reciprocal of solubility of the water in that particular solvent so so now we can see that we have now uh, there are further few more facts and those are common sense also that there is no effect of temperature in organic medium because there are no water molecules enzymes are not flexible uh, they are rigid in organic medium therefore there is no effect of temperature no effect of temperature and since uh, in organic medium there is no concept of uh, hydrogen ions also and if the, we are using organic acids they are very weak acids so but again uh, when the enzyme is rigid the even ph will have no effect so there is no effect of temperature and ph of the medium of the organic medium here so as i said water is required to perform activity but this amount of water which we are providing it is stoichiometrically very 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 less is in a very small amount that the ph of this water provided cannot uh, affect the catalysis uh, to a very great extent so what affects the catalysis is the enzyme structure within the within the organic medium and this structure of enzyme depends upon the extraction or purification method of the enzyme that is before putting the enzyme before subjecting the enzyme 
in the organic medium the structure of enzyme just before adding the enzyme in this organic medium will be the permanent structure within this organic medium because as soon as this structure enters this organic medium it would become rigid it won't be flexible so this would be the final structure so this structure is the last structure from where we are bringing our enzyme so this might be a lyophilized enzyme so the structure during the lyophilization process or the purification process is is the final structure so the lyophilization or purification process must be done if you want to perform enzymatic reaction in organic medium then the lyophilization or purification process must be performed must be performed performed at optimum at optimum conditions for enzyme activity although although this is not the subject or the main objective of purification or lyophilization but we must perform the lyophilization or purification process under conditions um, which are optimum for uh, enzyme activity that is uh, uh, under those conditions under which enzymes give maximum activity or they have uh, the structure the conditions at which the enzyme have the structure to provide maximum activity that must be kept those conditions must be must be utilized during lyophilization and purification process and when we uh, after lyophilization purification when we introduce the enzyme in our organic medium it would re retain those optimum properties due to its uh, due to its structure prior to its introduction into the organic medium so as soon as it enters the organic medium so it will uh, have it will get fixed upon that optimum structure so now when we want to uh, perform catalysis in organic medium we would now uh, add a little amount of water to perform to further perform the activity just enough just enough amount of water to perform the uh, catalysis within the organic medium will be provided in the organic medium for the enzyme so this is how it works so now um, we have the system would be we have our enzyme we have our substrate we have solvent the organic solvent and we have water activity or the water molecules to perform the activity these water molecules would be bound on the enzyme to make it flexible enzyme would interact with the substrate okay now the substrate can also interact with the solvent depending upon the polarity or the nature the miscibility the solubility of the substrate within the solvent so uh, again the concept of partitioning will come into effect because substrate uh, can get partitioned on the active site of the enzyme and the bulk solvent and this solvent can also have effect on the enzyme or it may not have any effect on the enzyme so if the solvent is now now if the solvent is completely non polar or i'll write polar here and non polar here now solvent can be polar to non polar there are a variety of solvents hydrophobic solvents available some are polar and some are non polar the polar solvents might also influence the enzymes because non polar solvents will not influence the enzymes because uh, hydrophobic residues are very few on the enzyme surface so this chances of uh, uh, non polar solvents affecting the enzyme is very very less it might affect it might affect it might cause certain changes if there is a, a hydrophobic cleft or cleavage in on the enzyme surface this non polar solvent might also affect but generally 
the polar solvent as most of the surface of enzyme is polar so this polar solvent might interact with the enzyme surface so substrate would be interacting with the enzyme substrate can also interact with the solvent water would be bound on the enzyme surface and some amount of water according to the solubility of the solvent the same amount of water could be could be engaged in the, within the solvent solvent could strip up especially the polar ones the polar solvents do attract a lot of water towards themselves like methanol can attract uh, approximately 60% water in that you are going to provide so and uh, other uh, solvents like um, i think hexane hexane attracts only 0.4% uh, of water molecules yeah hexane uh, attracts only 0.4% of water molecules uh, within itself and meth and methanol almost 60% so it, it is uh, highly Uh, methanol is freely miscible it is said to be freely miscible in water methanol and ethanol the lower alcohols are freely miscible in water they can easily mix with it so this is this will be our uh, system for enzymatic reactions in organic medium now uh, in some cases this solvent could be the substrate itself so in cases where solvent is the substrate there we call the solvent as neat substrate that is there is no impurity and the the solvent itself is the substrate and the enzyme will consume the substrate and convert uh, this uh, solvent into some other some other product so then also we require a small amount of water for uh, providing flexibility to the enzyme to work mostly these enzymes are lipases those enzymes that act in the organic medium generally they have been lipases because lipases uh, perform action on lipids which are again hydrophobic but act, but act, um, work after several works um, it has been found uh, successfully that uh, enzymes such as proteases proteases like chymotrypsin and septilisin and oxidoreductases such as dehydrogenases various dehydrogenases have been shown to work in different organic uh, medias so so when using different organic solvents organic medias it has been shown that the properties and activities obtained are different in different solvents so and Uh, the amount of water of course the amount of water uh, can be fixed to uh, an optimum level but for different solvents again this uh, amount of water would change and it has also been shown that uh, modifying solvent using uh, certain salts like kcl uh, potassium chloride or other salts also uh, or using by using ionic liquids the uh, selectivity and the substrate specificity of these enzymes could change and also the in product could also be influenced that the the type of reaction could be modified by changing the solvent the organic solvent which we are using so uh, this uh, enzymatic reactions in organic medium has opened a new domain of uh, medium engineering earlier we were just limited to protein engineering for changing enzymes but now due to uh, the feasibility of reactions in the organic medium uh, it has opened the doors for another branch that we can call as medium engineering because we are modifying the medium in which the enzyme is reacting now the advantages of uh, enzymatic reactions in organic media can be summarized as 
now if you write the advantages it could be summarized as for hydrophobic substrates we have enhanced solubility of hydrophobic substrates hydrophobic substrates and since the enzyme is insoluble in organic medium we have easy enzyme recovery we have easy enzyme recovery from organic solvents now enzymes are more stable here so again enzymes are more stable is an advantage and the more stable and it becomes more robust the reaction becomes becomes more robust that is very important factor for commercialization of enzymes uh, this means that uh, now the reaction has a the reaction is the reaction has large range of temperature and ph conditions that it can with, with withstand range of temperature and ph to withstand or that it can it can perform activity in a in a uh, very larger range of temperature and ph conditions now substrate selectivity and specificity can be modified using different organic solvents substrate specificity and selectivity can be modified can be modified or altered using different solvents and another factor by changing by which this is a very special uh, situation uh, by which the term medium engineering have been coined because of all these advantages now uh, like i stated in my final points uh, where i said that very novel reactions can also be achieved by the same enzyme so the sixth advantage we can write it down as we can write it down as uh, novel reactions novel reactions are possible novel reactions uh, can be achieved can be achieved by the same enzyme by the same enzyme in different organic media in different 
ऑर्गेनिक मीडिया सो दीज आर ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर्स और ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्ट दैट मस्ट बी कंसिडर्ड एंड दैट दैट वन मस्ट नो बिफोर परफॉर्मिंग रिएक्शन इन ऑर्गेनिक मीडिया एंड केयर मस्ट बी टेकन दैट वेन वी आर प्यूरिफाइंग एंड लाइफिंग आर enzyme it is done in optimum condition for enzyme activity so that uh, when we react in the organic medium we don't uh, fall behind the maximum possible uh, conversion that we can uh, obtain so so um, with minimum amount of water uh, we can obtain high degree of purity of uh, the product and we can uh, downstream processing also becomes easier because relative to water organic medium are um, have low boiling points organic medias have low boiling points so we can remove we can distillate out our uh, product from the organic medium easily without destroying its properties at lower temperature levels so this is uh, all about enzymatic reactions in organic media hope you uh have understood all the concepts and for any queries you can mail me or you can write down in the comment section your queries and depending on the queries if uh, there are long ones you can mail me uh, you can mail me and I'll, i'll try to respond it as soon as possible thank you have a nice day